This episode of TNT, we're going to talk about some of the explosive issues that you will be engaged with. I'm going to give you the help that you're going to need to know to handle the tough issues with dignity and with grace. So thanks for joining me with this episode of TNT. Make sure you hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss future episodes where I give you the tips and the techniques to take care of amazing people. So when you get hung up on, when you get hung up on, notice I said when, I didn't say if. If you're in insurance sales, it's a matter of when, not if you will get hung up on and it hurts. I've done telesales combined with my insurance background. I've done both over two plus decades, 20 plus years, and it's a tearjerker for brand new agents. It hurts, makes you feel angry, and that's not gonna accelerate your ability to find success in this career. You lose the call and let's get real. Sometimes we really start losing our minds. We just do. It's, it's the human side of us. I'm going to help you understand how to unpack this problem. When they hang up, when they hang up, okay, to reiterate that, on you. On you. Understand it's not about you. It never has been, never will be. This is about them. It's about serving them. We're humble servants as insurance salesmen and sales ladies. That's what we're doing. That's our leading front to find value for them. It's about them, not us. So let's get after the biggest point that it's not about you in the first place. It's now about them. Now you hopefully won't take it as personal because when you play the victim of, oh, you hung up on me? You hung up on me? Me, myself, and I is selfish. You're going to see yourself in a victim state. You want to be seeing yourself now as a victory. Victor! You're going to be a victor in handling the very problem. You're not going to do that by being a victim of, you hung up on me? Did you mean to hang up on me? You don't call that client right back and go, oh, do you, do you mean to hang up on me? Yeah, I did. Click. Don't go there. It will not engage and click with the consumer. They're just going to hang up on the call on you again. You're going to feel more diseased, more caustic because you're just going to hear dial tones. And that's not the dynamic difference you want to make in their lives. Don't lose your mind. It's not about you. It's about them. Always keep that in your back pocket here. This is about getting you back into a place of control. You've got to control your mind before you move one thing, our mouth, and I know I'm a man, I'll apologize. Okay, it is what it is. Okay, y'all get angry, what happens? First thing that comes out of your mouth, ladies, is it good or bad? Men, is it good or bad? Normally, if we react and immediately spit something out, we normally say the wrong thing. This happens with telesales. This happens with you face-to-face -face agents. When we react, we normally really just say the wrong thing. This happens with insurance sales by, oh, did you mean to hang up on me? Yeah, I did. Click. Oh, you didn't mean to hang up on me, did you? Click. You will not click with a client when that's coming out of your mouth. We cannot do things the old way and expect to overcome this with dignity and with grace. We just don't do that. So we've got to control our mind before we move to our mouth, which is why you've got to take a deep breath before you bring that call back online. I'm going to show you how to handle a hang up if I can get my own okay, coffee to work with my mouth today. It's been a long day, but I appreciate you. I'm going to get this content to you. So we've got to control our mind before we move and touch a phone and then use our mouth to make one thing and we need to make the call again. We got to make that call. But before we make this call, we've got to get our mind right. We have to get our mind right before we move and then use our mouth to make that call. This is so important. We've got to get a good attitude. We've got to get that just nasty way about us out. We do. We've got to get a smile on us. I know you're not going to feel like smiling. Maybe they just hung up on you in the middle of a sales call. Maybe they hung up right at the social security okay, point in your sales Okay, presentation, if you're doing final expense telesales like the men and women that partner here at jasonfinalexpense.com do, and free resources for your taking, by the way, on the website. But you've got to really understand that we need to defuse the tension. We've got to be deliberate here. We've got a, an explosive situation if we handle and engage with this consumer wrong. We cannot handle this by, oh, did you mean to hang up on me? Yeah, I did. Click. We cannot be a victim. We've got to be victorious. So when they hang up on you, we have to do one thing, and that's diffuse. 
this thing. We've got to defuse this thing completely. We've got to defuse the anger. We've got to defuse the tension that's there. If they hung up on you, they know darn well they hung up on you. You can't call them back. Oh, do you mean hang up on me like a victim? You're going to get a dial tone again. And it's not going to feel good. Nothing good happens when you take that call. So let's learn how, first off, tip number one, the takeaway is let's learn how to defuse this problem before we proceed. We've got to defuse the problem. You know what you're going to do? Tip number two in taking care of this is you're going to, see if I can spell it right, we're going to apologize. Don't even care. I'm just putting it on the wall. Okay. We need to apologize sincerely. And you're like, I didn't do anything wrong. I know. You've got to take the high ground if you want to help more people. You want to defuse and be deliberate about helping this consumer. You want to do this the right way. You want to make the wealth. Learn to be a lady or a man that will humbly apologize even when you don't have to. You didn't do anything wrong here. But if you want to get through this tension, if you want to have a potential for a transaction, when they hang up on you, I'm going to show you how to apologize right. And you're going to apologize profusely. And I may not spell this right, doesn't even matter right now. I had a long day, been up early. You get what you get. I love y'all. But we've got to apologize. Apologize profusely. When that call comes on, you now are in a good place. Your mind's right. Your mouth is ready to go. You got a smile on you. You get that call and you go, hi, Mrs. Johnson. This is Jason. I am so sorry. I apologize. I, I rarely have, okay, a disconnection on my phone. I apologize. This rarely happens. I didn't want you to think I was being rude, Mrs. Johnson. I'm so sorry. You've got to immediately defuse the tension. You know she hung up on you. Do you want to have a chance of connecting with her again? You want to have a chance of getting her back on that phone call? You have to immediately, and I mean immediately, apologize even though it's not your fault because then Mrs. Johnson now is going to feel bad because maybe you are apologizing now to her and she knows she hung up on you, but now you removed the blame. You removed the tension of that phone call. You, in essence, defused that bad boy from exploding on you because the first thing that's happened is you're going to defuse the tension. You're going to defuse the tension by apologizing profusely. So if her name's Mary, oh, hi, Mary, this is Jason. I'm so sorry. My apologies, Mary. I rarely have my phone ever disconnect on anyone, and I'm so sorry. I never want you to think I'm being rude to you. So my apologies, Mary. I am so, so sorry. Immediately, I want you to apologize. You want to get through this tension? You want to get through where it's not about you? We've got to be about them, and that means we've got to eat a little crow, even though you don't have cause to. This is how you take care of a hang up. And you're gonna feel better about it because it's kind of fun to apologize. It's kind of fun to, to handle them in a professional, polished way. So all you gotta say is a sincere apology right away. It removes the tension from that consumer because they know they hung the call up on you. So it removes them from having to apologize to you. It gives you the ability to now put the client, the prospect now, in a position where now they're on their heels going, oh wow, this person's apologizing to me like profusely for even hanging up on me. Ooh, I kind of feel rude. But they won't say it. And this is what keeps you on that sales call. When they hang up on you, the first thing you need to do is defuse the tension in yourself before you speak, but then apologize profusely. This is going to defuse the tension. Use their name immediately. Oh, hi, Mary. This is Jason. I'm so sorry. I apologize. I rarely have any of my calls get disconnected. I'm so sorry, Mary. The last thing I ever wanted you to think was that I was being rude to you, so I'm so sorry. Now you will move back smoothly into where you were. Now you're going to move back into your script. So like I was saying, and go right into where you were. I was just getting back to you about the brand new final expense life insurance options. Go right back to where you were when they hung up on you. So when this happens, get your mind right. It's not about you. It's about them. Get yourself into a place not of anger, but into a place of acceleration. Control your mind elevate yourself to the high ground. And I know humbling yourself to apologize when you didn't do anything wrong when they hang up the phone on you may sound crazy to you, but believe it or not, 
in our national insurance agency where we, my goodness, produce millions of dollars in premium. We use this technique. It works powerfully. It allows the consumer to get back on the phone without this feeling of just cancer and causticness that can come if you handle it any other way. So the tips that you wanna do is immediately defuse yourself before you get on that phone line and dial, apologize profusely, and then all you gotta do is just move back, move on back in to your conversation. Hopefully it'll give you a conversion, my friends, but go into your script smoothly. If you left off at the banking, just go in like we were saying, your, your, your bank account is still, you know, Chase, right? And go right back into chasing them and helping them and serving them. This may save you a lot of heartache. So when you're in an environment where things are feeling explosive, it's just about being engaged, just about serving them. It's not about you. Don't play this victim, play the victor. And you're going to do this by the simple steps of diffusing the tension, taking a deep breath. <sighs> Don't make that phone call until all the anger's out of you, okay? Anger won't give you anything good. Go right into an apology. Apologize profusely, all right? If their name's Jason, oh, Jason, I'm so sorry. I, my phone line rarely ever disconnects anybody. I, my apologies, Jason. The last thing I ever want you to think is that I was being rude to you, sir. I'm so sorry. Uh, and then, go now, like I was saying, go right back into your script smoothly. It's going to allow you to help more people. It'll now put them in a place where the tension's gone. They're now going to say, oh, it's okay. And, and they know they hung up on you. It's not about you being right and them being wrong. It's about you making the wealth by serving them humbly, helping more people. And I hope this TNT session helps save you a couple calls. Are you going to get all the calls by using this technique? No. Will you get more than maybe you did before? Well, I know we do, and I hope this helps you make the wealth. Any other topics you'd like me to take up for you for our future sessions, please do me a favor, put it in the comments below. I appreciate you. We'll see you soon, my friends.